Well, hi everybody. It's time to shave. It's time to revisit a razor that I haven't really used at all, but I keep seeing people commenting, you know, in, in, in the comments, <laughs> posting in the comments that they have tried out a safety razor for the first time watching my videos and others like it. And they start off with the King C Gillette because it's available all kinds of places. Walgreens, CVS, your local, you know, grocery store. And so I'm going to revisit this one today because I haven't used it in a long time. I remember kind of liking it, thinking it was okay. You know, it was like a Merker 34C or something. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It's a three-piece razor. It is non-adjustable. And I'm going to take it out of the package and make sure there's not a blade in it. Nope, there's not. <laughs> good. And uh, we're going to try this sucker out. It does have a really good heft to it. I remember I enjoyed... The design of it, like the handle, it's just very simple, you know, not much to enjoy, but you know what I'm talking about. It doesn't offend me artistically, how about that? So three-piece handle, two-piece head, three-piece meaning handle and a two-piece head. Gotta be, gotta be real specific these days in communication. Things get easily mixed up. All right, so let's load this sucker up. And if you've seen, you know, if you've ever used one of these kind of before, here's what you do. And if you haven't, here's what you do. So take your old razor blade. Now I got, not old, but this is a new one. This is a feather blade, as I always tend to use. And just place it right on there. They got those little, in this model, they got those three little uh, posts, one of which is a screw, the other two are guiding it in. And then you put the other part there. Yes, I know for all you old pros, this is old hat, I apologize. But for some people, it just came across. Now, I did get a, uh, a message, in, an email, artist to artist, by the way, a gentleman out in Los Angeles. And he said, uh, I don't remember if it was the, the King C. Gillette, but he just started using this kind of thing. And he was worried about the overhang, uh, overhang of the blade. So tightening down the handle. And what I always just do is grab, yeah, well, I won't do it there. I just grab the ends of it with a towel, you know, put a towel there and there. And then I use that to twist up. So uh, don't worry about that. Go ahead and use it. That's what I do. It's what the pros use. It's just an old towel I like that right back there. So anyway, Got this, we're all ready to go. I took a shower, I did my hair. I think I need a haircut. It's starting to get out of control. You know, you know, you know. All right, I'm put some hot water on my face. I did a, uh, did a lazy man shave yesterday. I just shaved my neck. The opposite of a neck beard, folks. And uh, that's because this always bugs me, like when I do like this, like, you know, <sighs> it gets all <laughs> prickly. Dumb, I know. So let's lather up. Now, if you buy yourself, if you're just new into the safety razor game, you buy yourself one of these, you're probably not gonna have a bunch of shaving stuff. You're not gonna have a bunch of fancy brushes and things like that. You might have some of this Nivea men's cooling shaving gel. I wanted to use, instead of you know my good old go-to Barbasol, I wanted to use this, which is much more available in other parts of the world. Now, I don't know if this is or not. But anyway, so let's try out this. This is a gel, which I don't normally like. I don't like gels, because then you gotta, you gotta do the work. But you know what, you gotta do the work with brushes and everything. Anyway, so this is how it comes out. The Nivea just squirts on out in a little mound, a little gooey, a gooey mound. And then you just kinda do this. Ooh, it does get really rich. That's a rich, thick, look at that. And it smells okay. It doesn't smell, it's not my favorite smell, but it just smells uh, just like a shaving cream, like you would expect. It's nothing, it's not gonna knock your socks off and it's not gonna knock your you know what in the dirt. It's just okay, it's good, it's fine, it's fine. It'll do, in a pinch, it'll do. And believe me, it does pinch. Sorry, that's an old joke that we used to say in college all the time. We would just say something we'll do in a pinch, and then we go, and believe me, it does pinch, you know, no matter what. <laughs> you see it's so annoying to my friends because we kept saying it so much. All right, I got so much. I did not need that much, obviously. Look at this. So I'm going to wash this off. Very thick. It's very thick stuff. It's really stuck to my hands. I have to chisel this stuff off. Nivea Men's Sensitive Cooling Shaving Gel. Got a little bit of menthol in it, not very much. No drying alcohol. That's that's good. That's good. All right. Oh, for an aftershave, I pulled out some Captain's Choice Land Ho. I'm, I keep finding these little bottles of Captain's Choice that I've only like used once, and I want to revisit them. Got a lot of stuff I need to revisit. Let's start shaving. Get that angle right. If you've never used a safety razor, don't press hard, and make sure that the razor is not just straight up and down like that. It's got to be kind of at an angle a little bit. You. 
you start shaving, you'll get, you'll kind of feel when the blade grabs the edge of your whiskers. And then you'll know that you're doing the right thing. <laughs> Do the right thing. I actually watched that movie, or most of it the other day. I don't think I'd ever sat down and watched it. The Spike Lee joint, Do the Right Thing from the 90s. That's a dang good movie. And Giancarlo Esposito is in it. Gus Fring, if you're a fan of Breaking Bad slash Better Call Saul. Ooh, I do have a shout out. Anthony Nash. Shout out to you, Anthony. Or as I like to think of you, Big Tony. Hey, Big Tony, how you doing? I'm sorry if that's not, if you don't want to be addressed as Big Tony, that's fine. How about Anthony? Let's just go back to Anthony because that's what you asked for. So shout out to you, Anthony. Thanks for watching. And thanks to all of you for watching. And if you want to be shouted out, let me know. Like I said in the last video, I think there was somebody that wanted a shout out. Uh, with a name that I just completely forgot and then I lost the dang comment where they were asking for. So if, if that was you, let me know. So this razor, I've got a feather blade in it, which is my go-to kind of deal. And I, I can't remember, I used it in at least one shave last time. So I'm feeling the dullness of it. There are sometimes you'll get, uh, you know, blades and uh, you'll be able to use it four or five times without even feeling it. But I think that this one might be a little too dull. Because normally I don't feel the kind of resistance that I'm feeling right now. Normally it's just slicing right through, which is the beauty of the safety razor. It doesn't pull. This is not pulling or tugging like cartridge razors do but it's also not just effortlessly sliding through it. And I don't think that's the razor. I think that's the blade. I think the razor is just simple enough that it's gonna work for you. It doesn't feel like an aggressive razor, but then neither is it mild. It's like right in that good area where, which would appeal probably to most wet shavers that would use this thing, that would pick it up. And you know, I'm sure with a company like Gillette, they want to sell to as many people as they can. But I am feeling that this blade's a little bit, little bit dull. I will not use it after this one. But after the first pass, you're home free, baby. So if you do two more passes like I normally do, then you don't need to replace the blade instantly. But if it's really uncomfortable, go ahead and replace the blade. All right, let's do this again. Because I didn't use a, uh, I'm going to not put as much this time. Just a little, just like a teeny, teeny amount. Let's see what we get out of that. Yeah, much thinner because there was water on my hands, but I think that'll be good for a second pass. I got water on my face. Keep your face hydrated. Keep it, keep it covered in water. Keep putting water on your face. How about that? Let's say it like that. Go back and watch the Charles Roberts videos from a few years ago, 2011, 12, whenever they were. He always talks about keeping your skin hydrated and you had to use his products to get it done. Hydro last. I don't know how much of that was marketing and mumbo jumbo, but interesting guy, interesting guy. All right, here we go. Ooh. I don't want to show his picture because I don't want to blow up his spot as they say, <laughs> but the, my mom, My mom sent me a picture that her friend took of a bartender that works in New Orleans at a place, I believe it's called Mr. B's Bistro. And I'm not kidding. It was a picture of the bartender behind the bar. You know, he's got his vet black vest on, white shirt. I think he had a, either a tie or a bow tie. And you see just his profile and he's right there in front of the camera. So he's front and center because my my mom's friend wanted to take this picture and send it to her to show me the guy. I'm not kidding. I thought it was me. It was, he's a dead ringer for me from the side, maybe five to 10 years older, maybe a little bit less hair up here, but otherwise like the profile, the eyes, the, the nose is slightly, but I, it was weird. I would love to show you, but I don't want to until I can find this guy. And supposedly, now I don't know if this is right or not. This is what my my mom and I were texting this morning after she, after she showed this picture to me of my doppelganger. Supposedly the guy's name is Brian. 
If his name was Brian Sinatra Lennon, well, then we'd have, uh, but I'm serious. This is so weird. So I wonder what he looks like from the front. I went to their website to see if I could see any like photos or like on Google, like reviews, but I couldn't find any in the cursory amount of time that I, that I searched it out. It's so weird. Have you ever seen someone that looks so much like you that you think it's you in a photograph at least? Oh man. Like if I get permission from Brian or if I talk to him, I'll, uh, I'll show it to you. But if you live in New Orleans and uh, you want to go visit Mr. B's Bistro, tell him I said hi and, and show him a picture of me. See if he thinks I look like him. <laughs> Very weird. Now, years ago, I kept having people, and this is here in Austin, this is in the 90s, I think, and it, and it happened over a period of time. People kept coming up and telling me that there was somebody, they thought I was someone else. Like, they would come up and talk to me like, don't you work with my wife, so-and-so? And I'd be like, no, I don't think so. So I, I don't know if that was him or maybe I just got one of those faces. I don't know. Very strange though. Oh, and the, couldn't do one last pass, folks. Just showing you how much more I'm gonna use. Not a lot, not a lot. That was a little bit more than the last time and dang, it's so beautifully rich and thick. It may be a little too thick, it's a little sticky. So that's not good, you don't want sticky. I mean, you know, you know. <laughs> When it comes to shaving cream, you want slick, slick, not stick. Uh, oh yeah, I was telling you, there was a, uh, I got a check in the mail. This was also back in the early 2000s, I think. Got a check in the mail to me, made out to me. My full name spelled correctly, not my middle name, just first and last name. Uh, for $200, and it was for, you know, the memo said, for playing organ in church or whatever, you know, something to that effect. So I got a check made out to me, someone named my exact name, uh, for playing organ in church. And I don't play organ. I can kind of play piano a little bit now, but at the time, I couldn't. Looked in the phone book, there was a guy with my name in the phone book, my exact first and last name. So strange to be in a town where somebody, you know, my name's not like John Johnson or anything, or, you know, Robbie Smith. Very strange. You guys ever had something like that? I mean, I know, you know, all the time you'll see someone that looks like your friend or your, you know, your spouse or a family member. Say, oh, that guy looks just like, I, in fact, there was a woman I saw in Maui that looked exactly like my mom from the back. And if I hadn't just, you know, left my mom, I would have gone up to her and, and started talking to her. I wanted to take a picture, but I didn't want to blow up her spot. Is that correct? Yeah, no, I don't think that's right. Yeah, I'll tell you what, after that first initial pass where it was kind of bumping and, and, and stopping. Once you knock it down, and I think if I had had a brand new fresh feather blade, it would have done it without any problem. This is a good razor. I don't remember how much they cost. They're not much and you can find them for sale, you know, various sales. They've been out for so long now that, you know, they'll discount them uh, for like Amazon Prime Day and that kind of stuff. I think it's like $29. Something you can get cheaper than that, I bet. But if you are on the fence about trying out a safety razor, this is a good one. I would get this definitely over the Vanderhagen, 100%. This thing has got good heft to it. It feels solid. It's simple, and that's always the best for me. I mean, if you look at, look, this is 1918, and this is 20, you know, 2020 or whatever. This is how far they came, and that's all you need to do. You don't have to go very far. They got it. King C. Gillette, the name, the man that this is named after, after uh, that this is named for, named after, did a, hit a home run right out of the gate. Mixed metaphors and all. So if you're on the fence and you don't want to spend a lot of money, try one of these suckers out. Not bad. Unless you're still hurt from how mean Gillette treated you all. Get all those comments still. It's like, really? That bothered you? Hey, to each his own, you know. To each his own. I was secure enough in my masculinity not to be offended. I thought it was dumb. It wasn't a very good commercial, but... I come from a different generation, folks. My grandparents were the greatest generation. You think they would have complained about something like that? They just would have ignored it. Nah, big deal. Grow up. As my... Uh, my best friend growing up, his dad, 
would always say, get a life, kid. Like if we like brought up some silly thing that he thought was not worth thinking about, he'd say, get a life, kid. I think I've said that to my own kids now. <laughs> it was annoying at the time, but man, I tell you, you put those tools in your quiver, you go, gotcha. Now you know. Now you know why your parents said all the things that annoyed you because they're true and they work and they actually point out something. All right, let's wash off my face. See what it feels like. That was not the best shave I've ever had, but it was good. And I'll tell you what, heck of a lot better than an electric razor or a cartridge razor. To me, to me. Now your mileage may vary, as they say. You always gotta keep this stuff with a, you know, a caveat. Keep yourself in mind. What's good for me ain't gonna be good for you, right? Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. In this case, I think it's so simple, you know. There's no guesswork. There's no adjusting, there's no anything. It's just go go down to Walgreens and buy it right now, try it out. If you don't like it, give it to your brother. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. Aftershave, always use aftershave. Now, you know, I love this Cremo because it's a cream, it's a lotion, so it doesn't burn. Love the smell of that stuff. These alcohol-based ones, they burn a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna get that with the uh, King C Gillette because it's not an aggressive razor. Mmm. It just feels good. Yeah, not much of a burn, just a teeny bit right there. Just because I went over it like three times. I went over that part of my face more. And that's how razor burn starts, kids. Don't go over your face too many times, don't do too many passes, and don't press hard with these safety razors. Let them do the work. That's why a good weighted one like this kind of help you out, I think. All right, so the Land Ho. It's very, it's got a, a green smell to it, if you know what I mean. Like fern, uh, what's that, uh, fougere smell. It's kind of that kind of a slightly green, crisp, uh, green apple, earthiness with a little bit of muskiness in it too, you know, like a, not patchouli, but something like that, you know, an earthiness. So you get the green and the earth and then the thing and the, I don't know, try it out. Captain's Choice, thanks again for sending this to me a while back to all my, my friends over there at Captain's Choice. I like to call you friends, even though I don't know you, but you do send me some great stuff, some stuff I've absolutely loved, absolutely loved. And that's it folks, so the King C Gillette. Give it a try if you want to, they're everywhere. It's chrome plated. <laughs> cool, man. Chrome. See, look how it sparkles in the sun. See it sparkle? All right. I was going to sing the Jello song, but I'm not going to. All right, everybody. Have a great week. Keep shaving. Leave a comment. I read every single one of them, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.